What's up, everybody? The only motherfucker who's not running late is Yeti. We're running late? By a couple minutes. That's all. We get here precisely when we mean to get here. That's right. How dare we? You get here on my time. That's how this works. Hey. What's up, everybody? I see your Wes Cochran's out there, your uncle's out in chat, Andrew Yee's out there, Import Man, Kenny B, Jason Zastro's out there, Jesse Stucker, RJ's out there. Chad Jason Adams, what? Oh, our church. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Uh, v Dog's out there. Splendid. We're live. We're live. <laughs> Hey, are you in jail or something with that old black background thing? Where's the rest of your fucking shit? Are you trying? Uh, to it's in Hawk. Uh, the Hutch is in Hawk. Apparently, that Yeti wire site going down for that long has made life a little rough, huh? <laughs> he's broadcasting. Oh. He's broadcasting out of a tent. Nice. But yes, we start shows precisely when we mean to start shows, TJ. <laughs> Do you know when I just realized that you put the hat on? I was watching Family Guy last night on Toonami or whatever the fuck it is. And yeah. What'd they have on? Star Wars one. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it, it, it just immediately. My Tom Tom, he's gonna get you. It's cold. <laughs> Yeti, Yeti will get his hutch back when the site opens. <laughs> No, one moment sooner. I'm gonna keep SpongeBob too. Right there, right there. Hmm. Uh oh. Carrie says tomorrow's the first day of fall, and she's excited. That's because we know she wants to get white girl wasted on anything pumpkin spice related. White girl wasted. Oh yep. Look at that <laughs> swags. Click on the keyboard out there. <laughs> Pumpkin spice. Oh hell yeah! What's everybody up to this evening? Um, uh, they've been on this. I got this in the great hook me up sale that happened over the weekend. You buy one of these. You got one of these. It was a great sale. And I'm vaping some of this. This one likes to be reflected. The lemon ecstasy. Lemon ecstasy. And I got me a, a purple rabbit. Sexy. And I got me a gold rabbit. Oh, snap, son. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason the gold rabbit is not on one of these devices is I need to take the dragon scale or dragon skin coils out of it because my tongue does not need a hole all the way through it from the spit background. I'm mean, gonna have to save them for something else. Maybe I can put the dragon skin into my Sherman. Ooh, it probably well the Sherman it might shoot right up the chimney at you. We'll try. <laughs> We'll try. I think I think the dragon skins are meant for those atomizers where that it's like side air like side airflow where the coils aren't directly underneath there. Yeah. 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 Yep. Am I being yeah. interrogated? What? Why the fuck would I be being interrogated for? Yeah, what the is fuck your, did you do, TJ? What, what is did your you parole officer on the phone? No. Or am I really <laughs> just that fucking low? That's up, TJ. It could be that my uh, shit's that low. I could be wrong, though. Yeah. Who knows? Nice. But that, yeah, or the poop roll. Druga. I finally figured out what that reminded me of. Is the um, the daredevil symbol. It's very yes. close to the daredevil symbol. It's not very close to the daredevil symbol. It's a yeah. complete ripoff. Daredevil. It's <laughs> dead on. It's, it's not close. dead on, but it's, awful. it's mighty close. <laughs> but uh, 
<laughs> yeah, Harvest Moon, Harvest Moon is a really good pumpkin vape, but I've got a lead. I've got a lead on a good pumpkin vape. I've got a lead, everybody. So like pumpkin yeah. spice latte. I'm I well, I mean pumpkin spice latte you can do without without what I'm up to. But I've got a lead on a good pumpkin flavor for pumpkin pie. Nice. Like one that's one that's like gonna be seriously legit. So I'm excited about that. Like, can we have like the pumpkin can, pie in this one? Hmm? And then whip can we have pumpkin pie in this one and whipped cream on this one? Absolutely. So you can go. We'll put some W. We'll put some WS twenty three in the whipped cream, so you're getting cold whipped cream with your hot pumpkin pie. Yeah. But yeah, no, I've got uh, the flavor. Uh, it, it came from it came from an unlikely place. I, I didn't expect them to be the pumpkin the pumpkin kings, but apparently they are. So once again, I've got a lead. Speaking of unlikely oh. things, has anybody? Um, AKA yourself, Lipa. Have you heard anything yeah. about that um, cookie butter there? The loaded cookie butter. I heard that. I seen that. I'm I'm willing to buy it to see if somebody nailed the cookie butter. Although I've got to say they probably didn't nail it. I was gonna say, didn't Dawn say she was up to the challenge? If you sent her that bottle, she's up to the challenge. Thanks. She's getting it sent out Friday. All right. I was just wondering what was going on with that. Because I'm pretty sure yeah. if anybody can nail it down, it's going to be her. Yeah. Cookie butter. Everybody's saying your volume's a little low, TJ. I don't know what's wrong with it here. Let me see if this fixes it. It's just because we're not. Sir. It's see, really that. Did that fix the problem? Like, like straight oh, yeah. beard. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. There you go. Can you cut a hole through your beard? So it's direct straight to it. I don't know about rich mahogany, G, but maybe um, some cheap paneling. <laughs> oh, you got some paneling going on? Like 1970s paneling? Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what all this shit is. Yeah. I have to rip out at some point and put drywall in here, but you know, I think I might just paint over it for the time being because I want it to get lightened up in here a little bit because it's pretty fucking dark and gloomy. You guys can I don't know, maybe <laughs> I can turn this up enough and you can see. You see way up here? It's got these really yeah. dark fucking rafters up here. Yeah. Fucking nightmare. <laughs> Not a fan. I like it. You can move into my place, TJ. I'll move into yours. We'll call it even. I'm not about that apartment living anymore, dude. <laughs> Although I do have a spare room if you want to come and crash. You're more than welcome. I'll just take, I'm just going to be broadcasting from TJ's room. TJ, we need to upgrade our internet. This is bullshit. How come two of us can't be on the show at the same time in the, in the same goddamn <laughs> I know, and I, I fucking, it, it's actually, the internet here is fucking horrid. I've got the best that they offer here, and it's it's trash. Uh, there's one place in town that has fiber, and that is where I fucking work. And they paid something around the neighborhood of like $1.5 million to run fiber to Jeez. just that office. Yeah. Wow. That's ridiculous. Going, well, I've got fiber hmm. in my neighborhood now. So as soon as my, as soon as my contract runs out here with the uh, old co old uh, Xfinity, uh, someone's taking a fucking hike. Yeah. And was it when I first started over there? They uh, they were doing some construction work on the freeway. Some dumbass cut the big old fucking fiber cable running under the freeway. So. <laughs> They were without fucking internet at the at my work for like two weeks. Do you know how much they get charged for that? Oh, it, penalty for cutting the cable is like ten grand per second. Yeah, it, it had to be something fucking ridiculous because you can't just patch it. You have to put a whole no. fucking new wire in there. Yeah. Yeah. Some crazy dude on the backhoe. Oh, are you are exactly right. That is the only good thing about living in an apartment. When shit breaks, they fix it. Now, when shit breaks, I fix it. Which shit breaks, I fix it, and I fix it, and I fix it, and I fix it again because it may not be fixed the first time. You just get that gorilla tape. That's right. 
Well, no, and part of it is there's a lot of shit I don't know how to do, so I'm learning as I go. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Like YouTube, will, YouTube will teach you all sorts of life skills. Oh, it, you give it, it really has so far, because when we first moved in, I had to replace a train tub, and I was just going to buy a, just a stopper, one of the little ones you step on, and it twists into it. Yeah. You no, know, first you got to take the drain itself out so you can screw it in. Fucking drain the little four prongs in the bottom. I went the old chintzy route and I took a pair of fucking needle nose pliers and went to twist it out. Fucking, it was so old they snapped. Oh. And I'm going, how the fuck do I get this out? You have to go and you have to buy a fucking drain tub extractor tool. And the tool is fucking $30. The, yep. n- the new drain with the stopper in it costed me eight dollars it cost me three times more for the tool to get the old piece of shit out so i could put the fucking new one in i'm going are you shitting me (laughs) and luckily enough because i wasn't paying attention when i bought it it's a half inch drive fucking extractor so you need a half inch drive fucking ratchet and i didn't even know if i had one of those i'm thinking when i got home i'm I'm like all right i got a three eighths i know that Fucking digging through all my shit. I'm like, oh, fucking took me an hour, and I finally found a half inch drive. I'm like, thank God. I didn't even think I had one. I was like, <laughs> how the fuck am I gonna jerry rig this shit? Mm-hmm. And like, really? Yeah. Then I went and I looked at it, and I go, now what am I gonna do with this extractor? Because I'm never gonna use it again. Throw in the toolbox. That's exactly yeah. what happened. It went into fucking the the non used drawer. The junk drawer. Got yeah, it. pretty much. I'm like, um, this is where I throw everything that gets used once. I was like, maybe I should sell it on fucking one of the local Facebook sites or on fucking one some other. They've got a couple other sites around here that they use that are local. But um, yeah. I, who's going to need it? Like, who, when I put on their drain tub, tub extractor is going to go, oh, my God, yes, I fucking need that. I'll give you $20 <laughs> right now. There's nobody. There's gonna be somebody. Yeah, I think it'd be hit and miss. Wait a minute. There's so there's somebody out there right now that's that's listening. That's like, wait, you need a tub? Ex- you need a drain tub, uh, uh, an extractor for that? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Kenny kinda... V's got everything. You could have called up Kenny V. He could have been over there and helped you. See, and that's the thing is I'm slowly but surely adding to my arsenal. In fact, I just bought a a rolling tool chest for the garage today. I think I think I think V Dog just offered you ninety bucks for it. V Dog, wow! There you go, V Dog. Ninety bucks, sure. I'll let you, you um, pay my fucking. I think I think I think you're making a wise investment, V Dog. Oh, yeah, he's uh. It all depends on the situation, though. Yep. Yeah. Dr. Tim, I read it. Well, read it? Read it, yeah. Uh-oh. RJ. Like, uh, Home Depot and places like that do rent tools. You know, and I didn't even think about it, and I wasn't going mm-hmm. to fucking Home Depot for that. There's a... A Menards that's right down the street from me. So I just went down to the Menards, which they're like a Home Depot, Lowe's. They're just a local to Midwest mm-hmm. thing. And you can save big money. You'll save big money. Yeah, that's right. When, when you, you shop Menards. And right now, don't forget, they have an 11% rebate on everything. Everything. And I mean everything. Oh, hey. RJ just offered you 420 bucks. Wow. Man, the bid, the bidding war is on, TJ. Jesus it Christ. is stupid, but if RJ wants it, do I hear four thirty? Four thirty. Four thirty. Four thirty one. We're looking for four thirty one here. I can't talk fast enough to do that shit. So TJ, uh, November fourth and fifth. What are you doing? Fourth and fifth. <laughs> November. Actually, I think I have a wedding that weekend. In Dallas. No. Oh, dang. Well, I mean, when RJ's money comes through, you can just buy your plane ticket down to Dallas. I'm sorry, guys. Gotta leave the wedding. Deuces. I'm out. See ya. Yeah, there you go. Jason's Astro. 
850. All right. Is that true? You were in the lead. This is just doubling up, and I'm liking where this is headed. By the time we're out of here, I'll be able to pay my mortgage for the next two years. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, Giancarlo, 120 is too low, my friend. 298? No. 298. <laughs> we're, no, right. I mean, right now we're at 850, so... We're not, we're not going backwards, folks. We're not going backwards. Oh. Uh, well, Pippa, I may as well just hire you to come over and do some goddamn work over here, if that's the case. But 20, yeah. that's just enough to cover shipping on that part. So if you want it, you're going to have to bid higher than 20. Oh, man. Jesse Strucker, no. Oh. No, we're not, we're not going backwards. 456 going to cut it. Or is that 4.56 million? Ooh, million. Good, but... Good bid, Jesse Strucker. Four point five six million. I like where this is headed. <laughs> you want to buy my house? You can have it for that. <laughs> I'll just sign the paperwork and walk the fuck out. You can keep everything that's in it too. Computers, <laughs> fucking all my vape gear, except for one right? piece. I just need one piece and two batteries to go with me. Uh, Mr. Miles, I think that is a thing. But they call them camps, I believe. He wired up your lathe for two eighteen six fifties. Yeah, but actually, speaking of lathes, I'm kind of bummed. The guy that owned the house here before me, he had a fucking lathe down in the basement. And it was one of those big old like nineteen fucking sixties heavy, all cast iron, steel. And... I'm going, sweet. He's gonna leave it because I bet you that was a heavy son of a bitch to get down here. Nope. Motherfucker took it with him. Kind of bond, <laughs> pretty soon it was gonna be it was gonna be TJ Foot stands coming to, coming soon. I'd have been giving somebody Pack a run for their money. Exactly. Packer tips. Packer tips. You can only get them in two colors, green and gold. And if you're lucky, we only had green and gold left, so we pushed them together, and then you get both. <laughs> Actually, no, there's no way I'd give this man a run for his money. No way yeah. of fucking all. $1,500 plus accommodation and dental. It's no problem once that 4.56 mil comes in. No problem yeah. at all. Once this house is sold, shit, y'all just have you build a new one. We'll cover that. Accommodations and dental. No problem. And if you're only asking for dental, you're silly because uh, in the States you need medical insurance too. But you already opted <laughs> out of that. Yeah, it's too late. Too late to too late to bargain that in. Too late. You got to provide your own medical. That'll be about fifteen hundred dollars a month. Ten <laughs> 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 TJ, <laughs> TJ, did you invite uh, Meter? Yeah, he should have had our link. Is he hanging out out there somewhere? I, uh, I got this picture earlier of him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now, was he in YouTube jail, too? I don't know. Now, now you got me wondering. Let me check. Make sure I did all the right things. Oh, Gizzard sent me this picture of him. Um, well, yeah. I think Meter was in there. Right. Meter's asleep. He's asleep. Yeah, he, he was participating in that a little bit too much of the devil's lettuce, and now he's... Mm. And one too many dads, huh? a, a veggie nap. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Got to get in where you fit in. I'm not that way. I understand. People got to miss. You got to miss. I get it. So, um, before you don't, you don't bid four pounds of yellow cake uranium. I think that's probably worth more than 4.56 mil. So, <laughs> nice. Well, I we don't it. really wants that drain extractor. <laughs> not, don't ask him any questions where you got the uranium from. <laughs> Do you have a line on a DeLorean that we don't know about? I know, right? <laughs> um, actually, I did know where there were a couple of them. I know, I know, it's right awesome. where DeLorean's at. <laughs> I know the the dude that had them was a collector, and uh, he had one of them mocked up to look like the uh, the Back to the Future car. Nice. It was pretty cool. It had it had the uh, uh, the, flux the had, yeah flux, had a flux capacitor in it and all that shit. Nice. That's oh. pretty cool. 
that makes me think of the AutoZone website. They have a flux capacitor <laughs> on there. Yeah. You can, I think you can only look it up by part number, and I don't remember what the part number is, but it's funny as hell. <laughs> it's when you're like, uh, and, 0121 or something like that. Yeah, something like that. 0121G. Yeah. Yeah, it's the point one two gigahertz is what it is. Gigahertz or gigawatts? Gigawatts. Gigawatts. Or the fuck. Yeah. One point two one gigawatts. Yeah. Eighty five miles per hour. This isn't. This isn't. This isn't nineteen eighty four, Marty. We can't just walk down to the corner store and get as much uranium as we need. <laughs> uh, I do. I do. I do have a lead. On uh, trying to convert a smoker. Awesome. Uh, which is cool because I got three um, rock by boulders available that uh, between Tommy and Dawn from the door have sent out to me to give out. I need to get the ladies uh, vaping, beginning of her vaping journey, why she wants to start vaping. And uh, then we can set her up with that device. I think that's happening this weekend. I'm going to try to get some video of her if she's comfortable doing a short little video. Um, but, yeah, hopefully things go all right for her. Her lung doctor told her she should start vaping versus smoking if she really needs the nicotine. So if a lung doctor is telling you to try vaping versus smoking, that's, that's a nice thing. Yeah, that's generally a tall tale sign that um, shit's changing. And I don't know all of her backstory. I don't know if maybe she was prescribed the other drugs or has tried the patch or other things and they haven't worked. If she has tried the other things and they haven't worked and the doctor's grasping at straws because of the condition of her lungs, then that may be the case. But I'll get further details on that. But I think that rock will be perfect for a beginner. That it will be. Um, got Hi, Yeti. Hook her up with something juice and get her in the yep. right, right path. And... She likes mint, so I think I might uh, have her start with some dark horse. That's a good start. It's a nice, very good uh, start. Bitches love yeah. chocolate and mint. <laughs> exactly. And I all I have right now is three, but I have some nicotine back here that I can I can bump up some maybe to a six or a nine to get her started. Uh, in that in that rock though, wouldn't you want it at like a twelve or something? Just so that I that way it's a little more I think, satisfying for her. Um, it depends. I'm 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 on the edge with that. If I start her off with some dark horse I'm on the edge because the with the mint in it giving the feel in the throat, she may not need that high of a nicotine to get some satisfaction out of it. Fair because enough. She may get the sensation with the mint that it might be it might be nice to just start her off at like a nine or something around there. That way it would wean her off. And if I do it at a lower amount than twelve or say eighteen, then maybe I can just tell her. You can vape your face off of this. You can suck on this all the all the time you need to. And you'll so, know exactly when you've had enough because you'll start to get the exactly. fucking jitters and the sweats and. Because I know when I first started, I had I think I had some eighteen or twenty four, and it was in a pen style and and I would vape on it for a while, but I got discouraged a bunch of the times because I would vape too much at one time, and then it made me the nick sick and then i was like this ain't right this ain't right whereas if i go with like six or a nine with her she has very little chance of getting nick sick even if she's continuously you know, it. you know you're probably right because when fresh sent me that first setup that i started on he sent it with some six nick liquid and i was ripping the piss out of it left and right left and right left and right and then all of a sudden Fucking, I was like, oh, I don't feel so good. And yeah. it, it took a lot but at first, but then all of a sudden I realized, okay, if I wait a second or two uh, after three or four rips off of it, realized, 
were good because then it would all finally yeah. hit me and i'm like oh all right well hell granted yeah. that took a couple of weeks though before i really figured out the end game and i also got a little message here from dawn she says if you hit a nine with her and she says it's not quite doing it maybe we can add a little pg into the bottle um to provide a little more um throat hit with the pg versus bumping up the nicotine as well and she goes of course it will also intensify the flavors in the vape as well yes. with a little more pg a bit so, not a lot thank you not a lot but enough yeah. thank you for the advice don god will love it yeah. Don, you fucking rock. Always yeah, she right does. in the middle, just step in and slap us all straight. <laughs> she likes she likes doing that. You know? Speaking of which, Don, you still not enough. Nick Salts. <laughs> Nick Salts. <laughs> That'll really fuck Here, her up. Just, just put, put her this the, under put, your tongue. Put it in the rock by put it in, put that thing in the put that in the rock. Like two rips, she's done. Yeah. Yeah. Be done for well, I mean the the one here, thing about starting with something like that is how fast that shit's gonna hit you. Yeah, and that's what I don't want her to do. Is I don't want her to get to a point where it feels so much worse than what she's used to. I want her to have something that's kind of equivalent. And I don't care if she's only she uses the nine or the six or whatever we set her up with. If she sticks with that for a month and she just doesn't have a cigarette for a month then we've won the first part of the battle. Yeah. You know? And I think, I think uh, you know, six, I think, is the, it's kind of ideal for starting for a lot of folks just because you can just take rip after rip after rip on yeah. it. And you're so used to nicotine at that point. You're used to, you're used to inhaling like between 24 and 48. That yeah. six really doesn't do a whole lot. It allows you to, it allows you to, to mm -hmm. get used to, get used to doing it. And that's what yeah. I, you know, that's what I did to TJ is I, I sent him something that was going to provide, you know, uh, uh, a good amount of vapor, something, something that was going to, did your power go out? Yeah, it did. Oh man. Are you sure you should be wasting your battery on that? On us? Quick, just on, just put some um, 18650s in the back of your fucking laptop. You'll be all right. I know, right? Slap some <laughs> new 18650s in there, Yunk. I know you got plenty. <laughs> But that's what that's what I did with TJ is I, I made sure that it was a device that was going to be something he was going to enjoy right away. Yeah. And then give him enough nicotine to where he could hit it for he could hit it for quite a few times before it really got to him. And exactly. That's what I want. That's what I wanted TJ to be able to do is is vape yeah. until that urge goes away, because that's exactly that's the hardest part of it is getting that urge to stop. Oh, and you know, I don't want her to be afraid of overdoing it. I want her to be able anytime that urge comes up because, yeah. you know, when we were smoking, anything was a cause to smoke. We smoked when we woke up. We smoked when we ate. We smoked when we got done eating. We smoked when we drank. We smoked all the damn time. So giving that opportunity to replace that where they can vape all the time it would be great. Yeah. Um, Oh, she also mentions over here, people think that they need really high nicotine when they start vaping, but no. what they don't yeah. realize is, is a cigarette. They're getting the lidocaine that numbs their throat as well, so they don't feel the cigarette and nicotine. Then when they vape, it's really, when they vape a really high nicotine, they say, oh my God, this is making my throat feel like hamburger. And that's true. When I first started and I had that 12 uh 12 milligram the the last time i started it was a 50 50 blend and it was 12 nicotine and i was coughing every darn time and it felt like crap but as soon as i found a 70 30 yeah. with this six milligram it was like everything was perfect yeah because i'm pretty sure the first bottle i bought was 18 mm -hmm. and that la i i was on that for maybe that first week and that was yeah. that was in one of the little ego pens, and and I would get, I would get, mm -hmm. I would get high on that nicotine. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and then that it was like the first week, and I the next time I went back for another bottle of liquid, I was like, I was like, I need, you know, I want twelve this time. 
and they just gave me the same flavor in 12 and I was, I was off and running. It was a 50, 50 blend. Um, so the throat, it was good, but that strong coffee flavor was what, was what got me over, over the, over the hump. And exactly. yeah, I mean, just because we, she likes menthol doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be the best thing for her either. No, no. And that's one thing I was asking. Uh, it's a friend of ours mother. So I was asking her what type of flavors does she like? Because if I didn't have a pre-made already that was going to be sufficient, I was going to hunt down some recipes and make something that was going to be close to what she wants. Um, fortunately, one of the things was she said chocolate and mint, both of those two things. So I'm like, okay, that's right in her wheelhouse. And if I can impress her with a little bit of, of chocolate and mint right away, I can get another flavor. Like <clears throat> I'm also part of this deal is that uh, Michael from Vaporlick will put in a bottle. I, I think it's either one or two bottles of his line. So I'm going to yeah. say, do you like cinnamon? We'll get him some, get her some Dolce the Churro. Oh, so yeah. you got the different edges of the different flavor combinations there that will keep it interesting. Yeah, and it, yeah. I mean, the his line is kind of ideal because the the flavors yeah. the flavors are simple, but they're they're rich enough to where a smoke even a smoker is going to be able to taste them. Yeah, and, yep. and it's and yep. it's cheap as fuck. That's yeah. that's the other thing that's great about Vapor how, oh. how cheap his line is. Like that should be one of the first lines that you point people at every time. Be like, yeah. go try Vapor Lick. When yeah. you've blown through all his flavors and you're tired of them, I agree. Then we can then we can start expanding because this bottle of lemon ecstasy is going to go complete. It's going to be completely wasted on you, and I'll I'll just hold on to this. And if there's any <laughs> left, you can have some. You can have some. I'm not no, get any of this. Now the other thing that uh, Dawn is saying over here is she says uh, try custard de leche. People will say that they get a. A tobacco chocolate essence on, on the note with it. That was well. I could see the caramel. I could see the caramel notes. When yep. I first made my first order with her, that was one of them that I took that and the hazy custard. And that custard delay, I did get some of that off of when I first quit smoking because I don't know what it was, but there was something about it where I could taste that in them. But hmm, it okay. still taste. It still got that nice. Rich yeah. custard flavor, but I was also getting some sort of tobacco note, which really wasn't in there. But yeah, being as I still couldn't taste everything properly, it was probably just my taste buds playing tricks on me. And not to mention, you're getting that nice caramel note in there too. So yeah, it, it was a win. And the nice thing is, Dulce de Leche is great for that, and it's such a strong flavor. That's why that Dulce yeah. de Churro. That's why that Dulce de Churro would work like a charm too. Yep. So the nice thing is I think she's either in town or she may be 10 minutes away. So uh, hopefully if she, if she yeah. has any issues or if she needs anything else, I have still have a three pack of pods here that if something goes wrong with a pod, I could get one to her. Um, you know, besides the, the three, the, the three that I have to give away, I also have two of my own as well that I'm planning to take down to Florida with me, but if if one of her if hers just breaks, I could just give her the next one or evaluate how she's doing at that time if she's ready to maybe step up to an AIO or something different down that line and I could walk I with her and do a shot. I think the AIO would be I don't think it would be quite as uh I don't think that's an appropriate step up. <laughs> Well, yeah, in this uh, like the next appropriate step would be something like the Nautilus Mini would be okay. a really good step up those point five those point five ohm uh, BVCs. Yeah, or no, okay. it's not. They're not point five. They're like what point eight something like that. Like point eight BVC. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, stepping the AIO is it's a fairly equivalent vape to a lot of the mouth to lung devices. And the only thing she's going to get out of it is more battery life. It's not going to be more satisfying. Yeah. And and that's one thing where we'll have to look. It, does she like the draw of what she's getting? Does she want to just stay at that for a little bit? Then maybe one of those devices would be good for her. But if she wants more, she feels like she could 
handle more, then yeah, we can go with my the one. V1. Yep, I have I have that. I know two of my local shops have them. We can do that. I um, keep telling my shop to get them in. I'm like I'm like, dude, you will sell so many of these fucking things. Yeah, yeah. Like this they, is they, this, thing, this thing is damn near the perfect starter device. You know, and the great thing it, about those as well is they come in the nice colors too. So they're yeah. not just black or silver or manly. They're nice and small, and they have all the colors in the world that you could want to and uh, yeah, try on. It fits right in the pocket, easy to charge. The buttons on the top, so you're not going to accidentally auto fire it in your pocket. You know, it's a, it's just a, re it's a really well thought out device. Perfect. West finished that. When West finished that blog, <laughs> <laughs> cracked me up. It's why 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 shit always goes wrong on Star Trek. It's because it's because humans just jam shit full of technology they don't understand. So oh, sure. that's why that's why no no one that's why getting in a fight with them is so bad because they might they might pull out some sort of miracle and beat you or they may just like bolt space over the top of themselves. So. <laughs> I don't know that that blog just cracked me up. We were talking about Doc Brown, and that's one of the first things in it is that's how the rest of the universe sees humans in Star Trek is it's just oh, a, right. it's just a society of Doc Brown. <laughs> Great Scott! Why are we TJ, doing shit? You... Because I can. Yeah. TJ, what are you working on there? What's going on? I'm fucking checking on the boy. He's a little restless oh, okay. with all this thunder. I bet. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. No worries. Did it? Did it get really warm again there? Yeah, it. Popped we had up like to, it was like sixty degrees this morning, and then that all all of a sudden, probably around three o'clock, two o'clock ish, it jumped all the way up to fucking eighty degrees. It jumped like twenty degrees, probably in an hour and a half. It's been like fifty-five and rainy here. Uh, we we had like days of like maybe 60s, 60, 60, 60s, and then I got the message from my wife going, I shut the windows upstairs, you shut the windows down here. Uh, it's supposed to get up to 89 again. Right. Yeah, we're supposed to be at 90 this weekend. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay. Is, I was going to start raking this weekend because the leaves are already falling, and I'm like, I'm not raking in 90 degree heat. I'm not in the fucking army anymore. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> like my yeah. goddamn now, TJ, do yourself a favor. Go buy, go buy a leaf blower. I already have Don't one. Make it. Just blow them all the way across the yard. And that was one of the first things I bought when we bought the house. Once I knew it was ours, I was like, we're getting a leaf blower because there's in my backyard here, there's eight tall ass, all deciduous trees. So. They're just gonna fucking rain down the fucking leaves, and I'll probably be raking until snow flies. Just cause... the worst one, maples. Oh, and I've got a couple of those. Got a couple of oak big trees old red there. leaves. Yeah. Now look into your city to see if they have a option that if you put them at the curb Already and call them, that they can suck them up. Yeah, they do. I got to just look at their schedule of when it comes because then that's the day where you just fucking yeah. leaf blow everything to the front yard. Yep. And like for the backyard, oh. I went and bought myself a couple of big ass tarps so I can just put it on tarps and then drag it out to the front and dump them out on the yeah. front lawn there for them to suck up. Yeah. Now in ours, uh, we get them all to the road. We call up the place, say we have leaves at the road ready. They're like, okay, it's going to be 35 bucks for the first hour. And then if it takes longer than that, then they prorate it. However long, fine. They're there. They come by. They put it on your water bill, and you're all done. Yeah. See, oh. um, here it's the city does it. They pay for it. Comes out of your taxes, but they oh, only okay. do it on like two weekends during the fall. Right. Gotcha. So you have two set weekends where you get everything to the fucking front, and they blast it out for you. Nice. Uh, and I've got a mulching mower, but just no. It don't work. Uh, it, it doesn't work, not with this many fucking leaves. It, it's different. If, like, when they first started falling about a week ago, when I mowed the lawn last, it did. It did all right. It, it did enough to where I couldn't see it in the grass. So I was like, all right, that's fine. But with as much as I've got on the ground now in just a week, 
there's no fucking way yeah. it's gonna keep up. I mean, I, although I thought about calling my old man, he's got a on his, for his tractor mower. He's got one of those big leaf sweepers. Throws it into mm-hmm. a big ass bin. I was half tempted to tell him load that son of a bitch up in your truck and bring it up here so that way I don't have to fucking rake. <laughs> I, I need one of those, and maybe there's a question out for chat. I know we got some crafty people out there. I need one of those things that I can push around and it sweeps up the walnuts. Because I have to rather uh, get those big trees. old fucking green gnarly, just look like big old horse apples hitting the fucking ground. Yep. Yep. And we just got the, the limbs trimmed that were overhanging the house because every once in a while you'd hear boom, boom, boom. You, know you, <laughs> like, you put it in, um, you put an ad on Craigslist. Free walnuts. No, they won't, get them. they won't pick them up. They won't pick them up. I tried every year. I even got them bagged up on the curb and I put them on Facebook list, Craigslist. Nobody comes and picks them up. Nobody wants them? Fuck them then. No. I was going to say, I saw a couple people post them up here, and people were snatching them left and right. Apparently, there's a bunch of people out here with their own husking machines and fucking roasters. So, I think it really depends on the area, because they're, they're always looking for the black walnuts. Oh, yeah. Well, everybody wants that high-dollar shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Get some well, golf clubs and start swinging. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I've got golf clubs, but um, I don't have any walnuts. If I, <laughs> if I was out in the country, I would totally do that. Um, before I'd, we get to... I'd live by too many expensive houses. Eh, that's no excuse. Fucking swing at the expensive houses. See if you can break windows. Didn't you see Happy Gilmore? Oh, shit. You just clock them in the head. <laughs> All good, buddy. Oh. We only got three people in here. We need some more people in here. That's all right. Uh, Before anybody else joins, though, when I put up the thing for a new segment, I did this on purpose um, because I did get a little bit of uh, mail today. And so I wanted to do a a first review for myself or a live review, as it were. Um, Live first look? Uh, yeah, and so it's going to be this is going to be my idea of a review because if you guys notice, I don't do fucking reviews. However, I will do them live on this show because this is my one and only time of the week to get out of here and do something YouTube related. So unfortunately, I have too much of a family life, which I can't say unfortunately. It's a good thing, but yeah. I don't get a lot of other time to do other things. So that's why you guys don't see me on other shows as much. Uh, so. Uh, what we're going to look at, what I got in the mail today, is from West End Liquids. Nice. And I've got something that is super fucking steeped here. Um, the sticky rubber. If you can't tell, this shit is, um, if anybody's black out here, I'm sorry, but I have to say this. It's blacker than Toby's ass crack. Um, just how it is. Um, it's, uh, it's been sitting for quite some time. Seminole. No, ready to rock. It, oh, it is. I've, I've been vaping on it for a while here, and it is, per what I read, the cinnamon roll with cream cheese frosting. And I'm going up and down in wattages right now, between 80 and 115, and getting a little bit of different flavor notes on each. Granted, um, this is so steep that everything is so smooth and mellow, nothing's really blasting the piss out of me and making me regret anything. Right. So, with that being said, let me get a little fresh drip on here, and we'll take a couple rips and give you my thoughts on it. In the meantime, chat away amongst yourselves. <laughs> All right. Tim that th- Tim the thumbs up, Jesse Strucker? Is that like, think, is he related to Tim the Tool Man? I think it was hit, but... Like dyslexia and other things. Oh, 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 that was more than dyslexia. That was just a straight what the fuck moment. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, let's give this thing oh, old Tootski. Oh, Pippa, I, I Googled that. Yeah. I don't need a nutcracker. I need something to pick them up off the ground so I don't have to pick up 400 walnuts. All right, so... My straight thoughts on this. First thing that hits me 
cinnamon and not like a not like a red hot cinnamon it's that mild cinnamon flavor that you get like on a cinnamon toast or something like that so it's nice and mild but it's it doesn't taste like the fake cinnamon either it tastes like it's straight tree bark cinnamon which is good that bakery note comes in secondary for me and right at the end i'm finishing with the <laughs> the frosting there um the cream cheese not as heavy as i thought it was going to be maybe it's because it's steeped out a little bit but it's not quite as heavy as i thought it was going to be on the cream cheese frosting because when i think cream cheese frosting i think you can taste that really heavy cream cheese mm -hmm. however it's not bad it's really good uh, i like it and as steeped as this shit is if anybody wants to go and order some do so and let it steep to this let it get black because nice. it's tasty yeah, the uh, the cream cheese frosting flavor takes a while to steep it to steep in, and it can seem like it's overpowering the mix right away. So a lot of folks kind of kind of kind of lean back off of it, but it it tends to weaken over time. So the steeping probably did a little bit of a disservice to the cream cheese frosting, but if you're still tasting it over the top of cinnamon, he did a good job with it. Yeah, and I, I'm tasting it, and like I said, it's not a heavy predominant flavor like I was expecting. Which, like I said, probably definitely steep related, and it, it actually it works really well. Granted, now anybody who knows I love bakery vapes. That's what I started with, and I'm a big fan of them. The only reason I have other things is because there's well other things out there to try. But I really like the bakery stuff. So for myself, this is spot on. It's bakery right up my alley um there's one thing i did notice here oh oh my atomizer's hot hey go figure oh there it is after a couple pulls in a row there getting a little bit more of the doughiness from that cinnamon roll itself which is good because at first I got a lot of the cinnamon and it was light on the doughiness but after a couple rips in a row there it'll it, the doughiness definitely comes through get that mouth feel nice. for it so overall I'm impressed um, short review and really good two thumbs one thumb two thumbs I'll give them the two for this one they're good. All right. This one's definitely Two worth your while. The, if you like the bakery. Two thumbs up for the sticky rubber. Now, if you're not in the bakery, um, well, that's up to you. And remember, taste is subjective to the person who is tasting it. So, if it's not something you like, it's not something you like. But for me, it's good. Um, like cinnamon, cinnamon roll is one of those flavors I can only vape for a little while. And then I have to, mm -hmm. I have to get it out of my atomizer. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I can go all day on it. Well, that was one of the first things you sent me was a thing of cinnamon roll. And I, the cinnamon Danish, yeah. Yeah, and I plastered through that. And I, I love the cinnamon vape. Like this kind where you get that actual woody tasting cinnamon. That's yeah. right, up my, right up my alley. And it's not overbearing to me for some odd reason. But nice. then again, my palate's probably a little bit different than everybody else's. And so... Now, you have a coupon code over there, don't you? Well, we do. It is golf tea over there at westendliquids.com. Oh, and fresh up three. Liquid. And I don't know if mine is Lipa or Pink Pussy. If it is Pink Pussy, that's another person that's going on the pink list. The pink list. Oh, it's liquids with the an X. List. Had to make sure. The pink list. Pink list. Um, <laughs> do not forget, though, um, he's, he's cheap, too. Um, 120 mil bottles, 25 bucks, 30 mils are 11.95. Yep. And then for concentrates, 16.95, I think. Right. Five. Yep. Yep. So dirt cheap. And if I remember correctly, he does have free shipping after 45 bucks. So you buy yep. yourself yes. two one twenties, bam, free shipping. You just saved yourself seven bucks. And yeah, go, you, you would love hardtail. The hardtail. Yeah. Um, one of those. Do you have it? And, um, 
No, I got some um, burnout and some soft bags, but I'm gonna let those steep out a little bit. I'm yeah, gonna give them a try. That's, a, that's something I would I would I would advise people to do when because West makes a lot of he mixes a lot of stuff fresh for you. So if if you've ordered something with a custard or something that you know is gonna take a little bit to steep, just give it its just give it its time. Give it its time. Cinnamon roll. That was that's a well steep. Oh, and I <laughs> just got something I forgot about. Um, as of November first, he will have thirty mil bottles. They will be chubby gorillas as well. Nice, nice. Chubby gorilla. So we're gonna have to try the hardtail. Right. Apparently, I'm gonna have to make an order for that. Um, once I'm gonna give those other ones a try a little bit later, and then I think each week until I've gone through all of his line, I'll give you guys a little thought on <clears> each week. That's awesome. Good call. Just uh, something different. And like I said, I need to start doing something new. We have a lot of fun on here, but I also want to do some other good things for the community. If it means shouting somebody out who's doing a good job, I'm all about doing that. So, don't forget, westinliquids.com. Yeah, you do need to mix those oh. up, Kenny B. Westin Liquid. <clears throat> Not you. You got to. You got to, homie. It's good. It's really good. I love it. I'm a fan. It's good. Now, when are we going to get him back on the fucking show? Other than sitting back in the comments. Are you too busy to come and hang out with us? We keep dropping a link. I'm just saying. Yeah. I yeah. said He's all those nice things about asleep. you. <laughs> Oh, I know he's not asleep. I know he's watching because he just sent me a message a minute ago. Oh, did he? Uh, oh, yeah. That's how the only reason I remember there was the 30 mils coming in November. <laughs> Sweet. That hardtail, dude. That hardtail, dude. That hardtail. Trying to lure someone in here. Like I said, I'm I'm bakery orientated. So, well, what I what I got here is mostly bakery orientated, which I'm excited about because that's uh, the kind of stuff I'm into. I do like the fruits occasionally. And speaking of fruits, I think the best fruity type vape that I've had lately that I'm still in love with is that watermelon raspberry lemonade and from vaping swag. That from swag shit is awesome. Gotcha. Uh, Rob Scanlon, you're not the only one who hates chubby gorilla bottles. Not at all. No. <laughs> you too much, they, there's too much liquid that gets strapped on the top of them. But the 30 mils are actually are actually the 30 mils are actually really good, really good that. bottles. Talk enough trash about the guy and he will show up. <laughs> Fucking hell! There he is. It's like listen, assholes. It's none of that shit. I'll have none of it. Exactly. I give you I give you guys my liquid, and this is how you treat me. Oh yeah. Yes. I'm gonna talk trash. That's how I. That's how I roll. Uh, which one do you want to know about, Dimlin? I actually just. I just got the list for the last batch that's coming out. So the last batch. The last batch is on the way. But which one did you want to know about, Dimlin? I was talking about them on Saturday's show and Monday's show. I'll probably do a. I'll probably do a, like a complete line review of the new flavors. For Flavora, just for all my just for all my DIY folks, that oh, might be got, that might be a Monday video. I did Ooh, have a one? question. I did have a question for Karen Presley out there. She was wanting to know what, who makes the sunflower flavoring that's great with the peanut butters. Uh, Flavor Express. Right. Flavor Express. Right. E, e Sig Express. It's called the uh, uh, sunflower seeds. I think it's called sunflower seeds okay. or sun seeds, something like that. It's the, it's the one with a picture of sunflower seeds, uh, okay. angel cake. Oh, you're talking about the smooth vanilla. Uh, smooth vanilla has a little bit of a bakery note to it, but it tastes like the vanilla from a, uh, angel food cake. I think you can use that and Pandoro. That's my theory. Um, I haven't tested the theory yet, but my theory is 
You could use that. There you go, Sunseed. Uh, you could use Pandoro and Smooth Vanilla to create Angel Food Cake. That's my thought, because Pandoro is a light enough cake that I think it would, I think it would work. The only other flavor I'm, I think you could, the only other flavor I think you could pull it off with might be the cake white, but cake white has a couple off notes to it that I think would, would mess with the smooth vanilla. So the smooth vanilla is the, is the one that is come is almost angel foodie, almost angel foodie. I thought you had off notes. I think that one's going to be a big seller. The, the smooth vanilla. It's a really nice one. How you doing, West? Fresh is fresh. <laughs> Look at that. Randall He's Hayes throwing some love at you there. Loves that you have free shipping after 45, so he knows where his money is going this payday. <laughs> but don't forget to support your other e-liquid manufacturers and other, other vaping sites that you go to. No, don't, don't, don't make it just about one. Yeah. I, go to, I go to Omageddon. I go to Adore. And West End. Support everybody. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Adore also does free shipping after X amount of dollars too, right? 45. 45. 45. That must be the standard there. It's and just look, look, probably probably life advice. No. <laughs> and I came on because you were giving me a hard time, but also to clear up, it's on November 1st, there are going to be 30 mil unicorn bottles, not the chubby gorillas. Oh, well, okay. Well, then it's clear okay. me up. It's, it's good, but. Clear that up, and I'm, I've got new new 120 mil bottles coming. I've got new labels coming. Everything's coming new. I like the old bottles. Oh, it does say that. Huh. I don't know. Where the fuck did I get chubby gorillas out of that? God damn it. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just being dumb. Wouldn't be the first time. I'm not sure, I'm not sure I should. I'm not sure I want to Google Nut Wizard. He's Let me get <laughs> I got that, Lemmy. I got it, Lemmy. <laughs> Do you see, this is why I don't do reviews. Because you know how many <laughs> takes that would have taken me to get that right to say unicorn bottle <laughs> instead of chubby gorilla? And I would have read it 10 times and known the right fucking thing and just said it wrong. Then I'd have been there with four hours of fucking footage for one liquid review going, God damn it, I can't get right. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick to the yep. live game and do it live. It's funner that way. So that way, if I do fuck up something, somebody can go ahead and step in and correct me. <laughs> All is good. All is good. Well, I do appreciate the love, TJ. <clears throat> and believe me, uh, if I didn't love it, I wouldn't say anything. I know. Well, I so would, the, but you just wouldn't like it. <laughs> 100% feedback. That's all those. So the uh, smooth... Smooth Vanilla's Flavora, I'm talking about, and Pandoro is uh, uh, Flavor Art. They actually tried to replace that flavor, and I was like, eh, I get why you're trying to replace it, because it's a really light pound cake, and Flavora just like kicked you in the nuts and walked off, putting their pound cake out, but it's not a bad, it's not a bad pound cake. Sometimes it's light. you want just a little pounded. What's well, Wonder Flavors? What are these guys talking about out here? I'm so lost. Oh, I'm so lost. West End, help me. They're, they're plotting on you. Wonder Flavors, man. You wonder about it. <laughs> I, Wonder Flavors has good flavors, but they're so complex that a lot of times that they're tough to mix with. Like it, yeah. if you pile too many things on top of on top of flavors like that, you just you just wind up with a mess. Well, you're you're going to be lost. Yeah. They're, they're they're good flavors. They taste kind of like they like they're described, but they've they've all got some they've all got a lot of uses. The wonder flavor flavors. I wish the chocolate chunk was was I better really than it is. Not from wonder flavors, but it, to me, it was not exactly the way it was described. So I quit using wonder flavors. Hmm. Wonder, yeah, it's not exactly as described. It's in the ballpark. And usually you can use one of their other flavors to put it right where you wanted it. Oh, Wonder Flavors has a new one. Oh, I don't have the. I don't have those. Brando. They've, they've got an angel cake though. The weeb candy. That's nerds. <laughs> nerds. 
champagne soda. Randall, you don't need to think about it. You just need to go ahead and order that because you know what? You're gonna giggle when you open it, and then and you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it a lot more than you thought you would. Yeah. Just remember, you you, you can't stop vaping it until you get through about five rips. Yeah, because you don't get the full put roll file after the first one. I'm telling you. That phantom ravioli, though, from him, it's going to blow your mind. Just do it. Don't Dedicated. think about it. I always have that handy. I don't know why. Because it stinks up my office like pizza all the time. Heck yeah. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but that's all I can smell off of it. In fact, when I, I was... Actually, I went through about half the, half the bottle he sent me, and then I took it to the local vape shop, and... We went through watching people vape it. That was funny. I wish I would have got some of that on, on video. But... Oh, I, I really wish I would have done that. When my brother came home from Japan and I had him try it, and I f fucked up his atomizer because um, he didn't have any fresh cotton or anything to re-wick. I'm like, dude, <laughs> you're not going to get that taste out of there. It doesn't matter what you do. You have to clean and re-wick and... Yes, and if you if you can't get if you haven't cleaned it out within like the first hour, that's a yeah. phantom ravioli atomizer. Yeah. Yeah. I had to send mine through the ultrasonic a couple times. <laughs> yeah, I I honestly felt bad because he dripped it into one of his. I'm like, I was gonna have him drip it into mine. I'm like, just put it in mine. He's like, No, no, I got one, it's cool. I'm like, All right, dude. Your fucking <laughs> funeral. Just wash it, put it in a baggie. Because that's the one you're going to use for Phantom Ravioli. And then he fucking gave it to his wife, and his wife about fucking died, and I started laughing. <laughs> I'm going, are you fucking kidding me? She's like, oh my god. You're not supposed to vape stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. You're supposed to go out on crazy, random... Gizzard Stew made a honey pickle... Gizzard Stew made a honey pickle yogurt. We're sure as shit going to vape some pizza. Yeah. I'm not vaping on honey pickle and yogurt. I don't know. He, he's bringing it to Dallas. He doesn't yes. bring anything honey to Dallas at all. It's coming. It's no. coming, West End. It's coming for you. Don't bring anything honey <laughs> to Dallas at all. Because how, how Gizzard Stu how Gizzard Stu likes to do things, he'll just hand you something and be like, try this. If he wants to if he wants to remain friends with his eleven partner, he won't bring any honey to Dallas. He'll just be sitting there <laughs> in the corner. I, that's actually a good idea. Maybe I should crack that with a beer next time. I didn't even think about that. I'll crack it with a cheap beer. I'll go get myself a fucking PBR and do it with that. Nothing like PBR and pizza. Hell yeah. Phantom Ravioli and, P and PBR were made for each other. It's gotta be ice cold. PBR and cold pizza. I'll vape that fucking shit at low wattage then. <laughs> <laughs> In 25 tweet. watts. 25 watts of joy coming at me. <laughs> 25 watts and a point. Oh, you could get some well. WS23 and put that in your put that in your Phantom Ravioli. Cold pizza coming up. He says, and a one ohm coil. Is that's what we wanted on? Nice and cool. Oh, Jason Zasha's got it all down. Gizzard is going to rip his shirt off and, and say, What you going to do when Tickle My Pickle runs wild on you? And he's just running. <laughs> he's a quick motherfucker, too. Like, you're going to, you got to watch out for Gizzard Stew. Like, he'll, he'll fool you. Yeah, don't let his beat up legs fool you. No, he's got some. He's got some strength in them. Them. Them gnarly legs of his. <laughs> Bicycle riding as he does, and you do. I'm sure you guys do. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I'm. Both of us are. Both of us can be difficult to keep up with. But even I, I've a couple times. I'm like looking back, and I turn around, and Giz is like four blocks ahead. I'm like. Usually, I'm the one. Usually, I'm the one taking off on people. Yeah, and mid, Detroit, mid conversation. Like, Detroit, they're up there. I'm like. Yeah, keep going. I can still see you. It's all right. It's all right. I think I've actually slowed oh, down because oh, I get. <laughs> oh, shit. And I've had to slow they're, down over they're up, they're up six flights of stairs at the casino. I'm like, yeah, I'm still coming. I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one, Pippa. Later, Pippa. 
there. Find yeah. me a damn elevator. Oh, uh, we waited. We waited almost 15 minutes for the fucking elevator. No, the elevator at the casino? No. It was horrible. No, it was packed to, it was packed to the brim every time. No matter what direction it was going. Yeah, it was ridiculous. All you got to do is back up and fart. They will evacuate the elevator. Maybe we should have we should have brought Mark Pagan with us. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I gave you guys a good kid story. How about this one? This is something I, I came up with. Wife hates it. You guys are going to love it. Let me, let me set the tone a little bit here. There you go. Yep, there we go. It's right up that alley. Um, so I dropped ass the other day. And me being the funny shithead I am, I go, oop, pooped a little. My son picked that up. <laughs> Apparently, now, every time he farts, he turns around, looks, giggles, and says, oops, I pooped a little. <laughs> and the only thing that makes this a little bit better is that apparently, mom decided she had to drop ass in front of him the other day. And he goes, looked at her and goes, poop. <laughs> so now I'm in trouble for teaching him I pooped a little. Well, I promise there's worse things that he could have picked up. Oh, he has. Uh, <laughs> speaking of which, uh, I'm sitting there FaceTiming with my mom the other day because we were, we were going to head down there for something. And then she said something. I said something about a dirty little fucker. And he goes, fuck. I go, what the fuck? And my mom heard it. She goes, is that the first time he said it? Yeah, as far as I know. I was like, so I just kind of ignored it. And apparently, mom heard it in the other room. She didn't say anything about it. And I found out why later. She goes, did he say fuck out there? I was like, yeah. She goes, oh, did you tell her it was the first time he'd heard, he said that? Yeah. She goes, it wasn't. He said it the other day after I said it. I go, Oh, so you're the fucking culprit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's your fault. It's not mine. Like, yes. My my niece is, she's two weeks younger than my son. And my mm. sister, she's a plant manager for the fucking plant that makes dog food, whatever the case is. Every time she gets a phone call and it's from work, she goes, oh, shit. So now anytime anybody's phone rings, it doesn't matter whose it is. My niece goes, shit. And apparently, uh, she was at her dad's parents' house, her grandparents' house, and her grandma's phone rang, and she went, shit. So my sister got a call from grandma and said, oh, I heard uh, Maisie learned a new word. Oh, yeah, what's that? She goes, shit. And she goes, oh, shit. And, said, <laughs> and she goes, yep, it was me. She says, I say it every time my phone rings. She goes, yep, that's exactly when she said it, too, right when the phone rang. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Awesome. Uh, apparently, we, we are in a land full of way too many cursors in our family, so everybody is picking it up, including the little ones. Oh, that's all of them. That's all of them. My cousin Yana, when she was like, oh, she couldn't have been more than like three or four. They were out playing horseshoes. Uh, the, all the adults were out playing horseshoes, drinking beer, having some fun. There, one of them missed a shot, and he's like, "Shit!" For the rest of the day, Shit. she's just walking around. Shit! <laughs> We're all die, all dying laughing, but you're trying to keep a serious face so it doesn't encourage them. But that that can be an impossibility. Sometimes you just can't help but laughing at it. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, that's all I can do. I I laughed. And try to ignore it, and pray to God he forgets it. Huh. There you yeah. go. Everybody uh, gets a little laugh at my son's expense. Um, we we don't filter around our house, so if if my son is telling a lie, um, my my wife will go, "That's bullshit." Are and you I bullshit? think. It, I think it shocks him more that she says that's bullshit right to his face, and it's more effective than you're lying. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> he, he, he's like, uh, okay. Um, but yeah, 
We don't put a filter on. My kids know that the words that dad says aren't always the words that need to be repeated. And uh, I think there's something that just really su surprised me on the phone once. And I'm like, that's fucking awesome. We'll be there in five minutes. And I hung up and my daughter's sitting next to me and she's like, really? You had to use that word? I'm like, there's no other word to describe it than that. <laughs> and she's, she's like, what? I'm like, they got free such, such, such over there. She goes, yeah, that is awesome. I'm like, grit. I'm glad you didn't say that other word. <laughs> so that was the best adjective I could come up with at the time. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes there's sometimes there's no other description. And I'm like, when you reach an age where that's acceptable to come out of your mouth, sometimes that's the word that needs to come out of your mouth. I mean, it's something that great. I'm still yeah. I'm, I'm still cracking up for my mom. Uh, she went to Queen with Adam Lambert. She went to the concert and I was hanging out, waiting to waiting to get her. And she texts me, says the concert's over. I text her back, how was it? And she texts me back, unfucking believable. I was like, from <laughs> <my> mom. <laughs> That good, huh? <laughs> I, I, I just said I just started laughing and laughing and laughing. I'm like, I'm like, how often does your mom text you unfucking believable? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's generally something my mother wouldn't do, although she does cuss like a sailor too. <laughs> but never never really says anything like that. At least not um texting back. <laughs> I always see the like the the really bad pranks to play on your parents where you go into their iPhone or Android phone and you replace the word driving with fucking in their dictionary. So anytime they type it in it auto corrects the fucking. And it's <laughs> like your dad and I are fucking on our way to your house. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't mean to type that. We are fucking. No. <laughs> We are fine. <laughs> when they get there and you have to switch it back around. <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> I would just leave it. I, I wouldn't. Yeah. Leave it back. That would just be my. Where? So, what are you guys doing today? Oh, we're fucking. Like, oh. <laughs> right on. Good to know. Carry on. The nephews are, the nephews are outside, right? Yeah. <laughs> As long as you're having fun, do your thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, rock out with your cock out. Yeah, exactly. Do, clam do you your clam out, right? Yeah, you do. You do have some fun. Woo! Oh, our church corrupting the Nathan's youth. If their parents aren't going to corrupt them, who are? Yeah, dude, give them give them ten seconds on the internet. They'll yeah. learn all sorts of things. <laughs> Yeah. Think, about, think about that. Think about that when you're buying them a smartphone. I'd rather uh, <laughs> corrupt my kid and myself rather than let somebody else do it. You got the ten year olds streaming their Minecraft stuff, and they're like, "Shit, shit, shit!" You see that fucker? <laughs> like, what are you watching? A uh, Minecraft video? Oh, no more Minecraft videos. <laughs> Not from that guy. <laughs> Getty, what are you working on? Uh, Mason, 30 mil. Uh -huh. Got some big ass six millimeter coils in it. Nice. Going in my triple box. He's going to Flavor Town. Yeah. The, the lights went out, so I got bored. <laughs> I found something laying around. I was like, ooh. <laughs> this will do me for a little <laughs> while. Oh, nice. Hell yeah, how you like it? I don't know. I ain't had a chance to use it. <laughs> <laughs> they're in the, they're on the way. <laughs> <laughs> they're on the way. <laughs> they went out uh yesterday, I believe. That'll work. They should be here tomorrow then. Hell yeah. Speaking of which, I, I need to that. put this back in rotation. I've been staring at it, watching it look pretty for too long. <laughs> What's up, Alan Gorby? That's the nice extension tube for the triple X. Ooh, yep. nice. Yeah, I've got the uh, I got the triple X and the uh, and the eleven eleven. I think the eleven eleven. I mean, I, I know they're the same mod, 
I oh, just yeah. think I think the eleven eleven is so much. It's so much prettier. It's just I don't know. I think it's sexy. <laughs> I might, think have the, to, might have to get the eleven eleven and brass to actually go along with this tube. <laughs> mixture of copper to brass Top. to copper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where the hell did it go? Oh, with the gold Pulse 24 on top? Yeah. Of it? I think that would look good. Hell yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Your uncle wouldn't be able to be in the room with it, but it, it would look cool. <laughs> now, you'll you'll be proud of me, Fresh. I took the, uh, the gold rings off the Triple uh, X and I put, you know, the, the gold, took this black ring off, put the gold, uh, Copper ring, copper ring, and then the copper washer right there, and then it had a copper addy on here. Oh, I actually, man. I actually, I actually rocked it like that for like four days. Did it? How bad it did it hurt your feelings, though? I, I actually enjoyed it because everything was symmetrical, <laughs> <laughs> and and it was all it was it was it was copper black, copper black, copper black, copper. So is that annoying? There you go, Yeti. Uh, it's just not right. <laughs> now, see what Fresh is doing? That makes my backbone itch. <laughs> that's just that's a scratch that can't be scratched. Be right back. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm yeah. I, I see around. that. There's got to be something else here. I can t I can torture you with. I, I see that shit on on Instagram all the time. What what gets me more than anything is a gunky ass mech mod, like one that's never been polished, never been polished. And then it's got some, like say it's a copper mod, and it's got some like bright red drug on top of it or something. It's like, oh yeah. god. <laughs> My old, uh, my old nemesis clone, Yunkle. We can always, we can always show you that. Yeah. See, that could use a polish. I <laughs> could use a polish, probably. I polish the, I polish the leads. That is it's what. A, it's a brass nemesis clone that's like four years old at this point. It's. <laughs> that is what is really nice about the the Druga, the, the colored caps. They they do have a nice look to them. I think the, I think the RDA itself is just a sexy RDA, but oh, okay. the colored caps have their place. <laughs> that rabbit. They have to be matchy matchy. You know, you know, well, not even matchy matchy, but I don't know. I'm I'm weird. My OCD is very selective and very weird. <laughs> no, Ooh, I think I've got this. I've got this black, red, and white tip over here. I could put on my dead rabbit on the purple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I could put that on there, and I would be fine rocking that for several days. Yeah, just, oh, post it, just post it on Instagram like a madman. Holy Here shit. we go. Can I send you? Can I send you this one and get you to clean it? Is that patina? No, that's knurled. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not polishing a knurled mod. <laughs> I'm thinking days. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> You know, just sitting there with a with a Q tip. How about, how about that, Yanko? Nice, <laughs> nice combo, Lifea. Oh my God, that's terrible. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the Aspire Nautilus Mini. Oh, then yeah. No, if you really want to get him going, put about a twelve inch drip tip on that. Thing. <laughs> Yeah. And watch it, watch your watch your uncle start squirming in his chair. Just like watch me implode. Just gr just growling at the camera like he's lo he's lost words and he's just. <laughs> hey, TJ, I think I'm gonna send these to you so you have flashcards for the kids. That'd be great. Every time he says it, I'll just put it in front of his mouth. Perfect. As long as they don't have the corresponding pictures, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a C and say. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mom's vagina. <laughs> uh. 
So I'm Yeti, do you still purge with the dead rabbit? Sorry? I heard people complaining about purging with the dead rabbit. I I think it's all right because when we got it like that, our mustache blocks that. And then you get a little bit of the... Yeah, I've, I've not had any issues. But I typically don't, you know, do like a like a nine-second purge. You know, I usually... <laughs> If if I purge, it's just a quick little toot, yeah. and then you know just enough to get the make sure the coils are hot. I don't purge, you know, take a longer purge than I do an inhale. Yeah, <laughs> well, nobody's rocking it like you, like a point one six on a <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, hey, that's not fair. This is a point five seven, and it's going on a triple. <laughs> that's fairly tolerable, or well, yeah. reasonably safe. <laughs> it's kind of safe. Don't be dumb. The folks out there, there in go. chat, don't do this shit at home. <laughs> do not do what he does. Oh, import man lost his... Oh, poor import. What? He had his last drip of pudding pounder. Oh. Is he new My, I got... Dun, dun, dun. I have some right here. Dun, dun, dun. You can grab it. Grab it. No? I guess I'm gonna, I, I guess I will just honestly say I've never tried it. So what? Oh, oh, you son of a gun! Do yourself a flavor. Uh, I know somebody that is up to almost five days straight. All he's vaped five days straight is pudding pounder, and he makes his own e-liquids. That's Brent over from Island Vapes. Yeah. He is vaped pudding pounder four and a half days straight right now. And he's like, and I even make my own liquid. Uh, what does that say about it? <laughs> Island, Babes, Island Babes make some real nice liquids too. Yeah. His yeah, sea grape? Cool. Have you tried a sea grape? Yeah. Yes. Straight up grape nerds. It's got yep. this sour in there and it's great. That's my favorite one out of the line, actually. I, must I like the... Uh, what was the the one that tastes like strawberry Nesquik? Like spot on strawberry Nesquik. Um, Pink flamingo. Pink yeah. flamingo. That was my that was my jam. While it lasted. <laughs> it's nice because it's not it's not totally milky. It's not totally strawberry. It's just that nice middle ground. What you got there, West? Is a year old simple apple roll. Oh, yeah. That's mighty light for a year. You've been having that in some darkness. That's been sealed. You keep them in a brown bottle where no light can get through? I keep them in a dark cabinet. They, there's no light getting in there. Or no Nick. Something like that. Bam. Is that Nicholas? But, no. This is this does no justice. This is three-day-old simple apple. Yeah. It looks like a sunset. <laughs> it's a sunset. It's, it's that beautiful to vape on. It's right that beautiful. Lemon ecstasy, and I've been heavy on a, my one of my next flavors coming out. This one's a pretty good one. I vape <laughs> crap out of that. This shit is the market. <laughs> this shit is fucking awesome, man. I love I love this stuff. That's probably gonna be a new favorite. I can see myself getting addicted to that one. The West got some pretty good, pretty darn good liquids. That hardtail, though. That hardtail, though. Well, the the two I got, I fucking love. Huh? Like, I knew the spark plug was going to be right up your alley, Eddie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's almost almost made for me. <laughs> I'm crack a fucking window. It's getting too foggy in here for me. <laughs> He needs, he needs an exhaust fan. That I do. There we go. So how many tattoos do you, does everybody on this panel have? I have one. One, two, three, three four. And it does say Leafa. I've just got a couple of big ones and a couple of small ones. I did, I have one. I stopped one. counting after 50. Lion ass, I can count four, four five... Six. <laughs> West End, West End's like it's my entire body. It's right here and it goes. Yeah, <laughs> ends at my ankle. 
I like. Yeah, it's like, do I count the arm as one, or I mean, how does this work? I probably have one of the <laughs> dumbest tattoos that anybody here has. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. I have a blind not, squirrel not finding a nut. A blind squirrel finding a nut. You got it. I, I have a question mark. <laughs> anyway, I some people always ask me what happened to your thumb well, so I put a question mark on it I don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> invite the topic Any, if anybody wants to know I lost it in a 45 ton press well that'll make short work of a thumb won't it yes it will yeah hmm. Bet you learned to keep your fingers clear from that, didn't you? They say don't put your fingers where you wouldn't put your dick. Well, yeah. found out the hard way. What'd you do with your dick? Well, I was, I was going to say, did we just learn something? Did we just learn entirely too much about West End? <laughs> so do you have an exclamation point down there? Yeah, I was going to say, do you have another tattoo down there? So is it? It starts as the upside down explanation point, or or is it? Or is the semicolon for I'm not done yet? Yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> uh, shit! God damn it! Forty five ton press. There's no no hope of saving that. There wouldn't be anything left to say. Did it just pop like a tick? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, I mean, honestly, I didn't feel it until the shock wore off, so, yeah. Oh, you would hey. figure you wouldn't. It sheared that motherfucker clean off, didn't it? Well, but. <laughs> well, it, it smashed it and made it uh, one hell of a mess and a jagged thing for the doctors to clean up, but. Yeah. yeah. I can just imagine, I mean, you know what it's like hitting your, hitting your thumb with a hammer? You know, that's only, that's only a couple hundred pounds. <laughs> you know, if you really rare, imagine 45 tons. Damn. Uh, all I can imagine is West End standing up going, help, help. Because <laughs> your body's in so much shock, you can't yell. Help. Honest with you. It, it happened. I pulled my hand out of the machine, looked, and the machine was still locked in a down position. And my yeah. glove was sticking out of it. And I went, shit, this is going to hurt. I have to look at this. And I grabbed my hand just like this. And I went, well. <laughs> oh, fuck. The guy behind me had been working in, the, in that industry for about 20 years and realized automatically what had happened and got, got the supervisor. Oh, oh, thank you, Workman's Comp. No, I so would have he... my thumb back. <laughs> so did yeah. that guy look at you and go, We got to do three things right now. Uh, <laughs> Trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Next to Ick, when he go to do a squonk mod, though. <laughs> <laughs> Could you make the hole in my squonk box a little bit bigger? <laughs> Could say it's always good when you get a girlfriend behind you, you can just slide that thumb right up in there in the back end. There's no fingernail to rip it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, all you're going to do is feel a little pressure, no scraping, anything. <laughs> West End gets it. That's what That's what the whole uh, life is fucking awesome thing. You look at some bad situation, you find something awesome yeah. about it. Hey, you got you to gotta laugh about, you gotta laugh about your, your rough parts of life. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you'll cry. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, they got a. <laughs> looks like there's a bet going out there that says um, Yeti's going to be the first person to get a, a door tramp stamp. You know, we can. We're going to go happen. into this again. We can make that happen, Alice. I can do it here. <laughs> I can do it right now. <laughs> I can fire up the machines. That's <laughs> what so I, I keep telling her. I said, I said the deal's on if you let me tattoo my kneecaps. There I've you go. Machines sitting in here right now. I, I got it. In Dallas, you guys can lay face to ass 
and give each other a door tramp stamp at the same time. <laughs> It'll be fucking glorious. You right-handed, Yeti? Yeah. Well, that's not going to work out too well. Yeah, it'd have to be a lefty. No. Right well, somebody, right. somebody would have to no, be right cross. to right. Right to right. Yeah, you just have to right. do it upside down, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's you're cool. Just... Once you stencil it, all you got to do is follow the stencil. You'll be all right. That's too deep, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's what she said. Their friendship doesn't survive the adore tattoo. <laughs> adore. Yeah, I'd fuck you. <laughs> I, I had threatened her about getting it put on my kneecap, but I don't. I think it's got to be. It's got to be on the uh, the tramp stamp for it to be legitimate. Don's all. Don's all about that tramp stamp. There's no yeah. way there right now. Is there to have to be on my ass cheek? <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just my kneecaps that haven't been done yet. So I've only got that and one calf. So what is on your tramp stamp? Yeah, you since you can't put it there. Uh, it's part of a a big ass goat that takes up my whole back. A goat. Uh, I've got a I've got a tiger and a dragon back there on my back. It's all Japanese artwork. Well, Andrew Eaton, yes, you can have some popcorn. We'll pop it right here. That's great. Popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> Give him a minute. He'll make it extra salty. <laughs> <laughs> you like oh, you that didn't want that kind of topping? My bad. <laughs> there you go. Anybody need some cotton? A finger ba- finger banging fat chick says it only gets a free thirty mil if it goes on the meat cap. Oh, uh, <laughs> is that a concentrate? <laughs> <laughs> so depending on which concentrate it is, I'm down for that. Both my kneecaps are open. That's a strawberry. I mean, strawberry submission makes quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, as does pure peach. So I think Yunk is set. It says, sign me up, boss. Sign me up. <laughs> He's got strawberry submission on one knee, pure peach on the other. <laughs> that tattoo. His kneecaps say PPSS. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know me too well. <laughs> And he puts them together and it says SP. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of his good flavor combinations, too. He likes pure submission. Mm-hmm. I like it in series. Oh, getting Actually, I like it any way I can get it. <laughs> and that... Ladies and gentlemen, is how he found his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying shit. Of course you're not, because you'll hear you and come over there and beat the brakes off you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I really hate it, man. I, I got thousands and thousands of dollars worth of tattoo equipment just collecting dust now. And Fucking can't. sucks. Damn it. Time Yeti, to get back need, to work. I need a, I need a three-leaf clover right here. But for the stem, I need the semicolon made out of the stem. It'd be easy enough. Yeah. Somebody's going to be pulling a late night shift by the sounds of it. He's pulled. Actually, Yunkle maybe. just pulled up the previous tattoo design. Got it. <laughs> done. That's what you're I, looking for. I think yeah. I've done one of those. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> I know I've done a four leaf clover at one point in time. I did it at some point. I did one that it was just outlines in black, and then it had the Irish colors. It was filled in with the Irish colors. Like one side was green, one side was whatever. And then the other side was red. White, I think. Uh, yeah. Isn't that right, Lifa? Just like that. Yeah, that's, yep. Yep, that's it. <laughs> and if you mess it up, we say. 
<laughs> Life, how that how's that too looking? Uh, I'm not sure about it. <laughs> <laughs> we can all say hi to Gizzard. Hi, Gizzard. Oh man, YouTube jail looks rough. They got you. They got you fighting catfish. Jesus Christ. They haven't fist fighting catfish out in, in in the Minnesota Zoo. Hey, you could come down to Yeti Country down here and we, we shove shove your hand down them down yep. their mouth. You go noodle it. Yeah. That's how they catch them. Y'all can keep that shit. I remember, I remember sitting in, a, sitting in what's it, what was the name of that lake that was over on the border of Texas, CJ, that we went out to all the time? Toledo Bend. Yeah, Toledo Bend. We'd go out to Toledo Bend and you'd go jump in the lake and the fish would start nibbling on you. That was enough for me. I'm not, <laughs> not going to stick my fucking hand in a catfish. No. That, there was some pretty gnarly shit I seen while I was fishing out there. I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like I need to get in this lake anymore. Fucking no, you should never have fished. Six foot fucking gall alligator gar swimming past. Oh, yep, fuck you, dude. I'm out. Yep. <laughs> that was your mistake, TJ. You ruined you ruined the dream. <laughs> yeah, I got to tell me the best recipe how to cook alligator gar. Take the fish, you get a nice plank of wood, and you nail it down to the plank of wood. You put it in the oven at 350 for about an hour and a half. You take it out, you take the fish, you throw it away, and you eat the plank of wood. <laughs> <laughs> Best recipe ever. <laughs> Best <you>? fish. <laughs> man, who's a pissy kitty tonight? Who's a pissy kitty? Oh man, because yeah. Gar, Gar, Gar eat the shit that uh, catfish won't. And they're fucking trash cans, all right. Oh, Randall Hayes. Thinks that it doesn't apply to viewers for the tramp stamp. I think if you have live footage of you getting in a door tramp stamp and you send that to Don, I don't think whoever does it, I think the deal's on. I'm pretty sure that deal's on for whoever. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't, I don't, don't remember there ever being. It can't be, a, it can't be photoshopped. You're gonna have to get some footage. You get near, yeah. get your butt, just and above just, your butt cheeks tattooed. It has to be in the right color and the right font. Yep. It's the Adore, you have to get the Adore logo as a tramp stamp. We're not going to tell you what font it is or what color. Oh, I, I would help. I found that, that font. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to be in the right color and the right font. That's what you have to get. Tramp stamped. Yeah. Right there. It's too bad she doesn't have like a barcode on there. You'd have to include the barcode so it's scannable. <laughs> it's a barcode for whatever flavor you're getting. Yeah, you just Q, just QR you just QR scan in your butt cheek every time you need an order. Automatically goes over and over that's almost you. worth it right there. Just so you can yeah. like send, it, send Dawn a picture of like the side of your butt cheek every time you need every time you need a Dory liquid. <laughs> <laughs> she would never forgive you for that ever but it would be amazing what she wouldn't forgive you for and I know she's listening so she's probably going to slap me come Dallas put a QR code on the top of your foot and send her a picture of it there you go That'll do her. Foot. fuzzy knuckle toes and all that's right I know, I, I know I'm getting slapped for that one. Oh, just a big <laughs> big old Adora logo right on the top of your foot there you go. Guys. That would hurt like a bitch. We got free. We got free a door, right? Free for the top of my foot. <laughs> I think there's going to be abuse, anyways, in Detroit or in Dallas. I think Don's going to be, gonna be on a rampage in Dallas. You have, you have a door stickers there, Randall. Now my question is: Do you have the new ones or do you have the old ones? How, how much of an adore whore are you? Man, can I pull out Let's some see. of my old bottles where it's the old labeling? Where there's nothing to be seen on it because they, they've been rubbed off? <laughs> yeah. Just a, what? They just tattoo a square. 
like a white, just a white label. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that kind of label. Got a couple of those floating around here. I can't believe I still have that fucking bottle. What do you get for the trip, Skip? Oh, that was, I, I, I think that would that might be worth it, Kenny B. As a tramp stamp, the bottle tattoo didn't have it dripping down your butt cheeks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now wait a minute. I don't know if I would be willing to desecrate her liquids to have it drip down my butt cheeks. <laughs> like a bit of a stuff to go there. And some people are into butt chugging. Hey, it's their own thing, you know. Teach their own. I'm just saying, you're probably not going to get the best flavor profile off of that. Well, you let me pet me way longer than I thought you were going to. <laughs> I'm getting worse than slapped. <laughs> she's getting more. She's going to more than slap you. Got yeah, it. I just got. I just got informed that I'm getting a thumb stuck up my ass. And that... <laughs> I thought that's just how Dawn said hello to people. And mind you, she has nails. <laughs> <laughs> and when she does it you won't need the question mark you'll know why this is very true <laughs> and I can't run from her probably because I can't run but <laughs> literally landing like two minutes before I'm supposed to show up so <laughs> when are you guys getting in? One something in the afternoon. Awesome. I get in at eleven eleven, so yeah, I should man. be I should be able to find my bag and, and at least get a beer in before you guys get there. Uh, she's landing at like one twenty four, and I'm landing at like one twenty seven. Is what the our, our t itinerary says. Nice. That's Love Field, right? You guys are all flying into Love Field. No, I'm, we're flying into DFW. Fort Worth. Yeah, go. Uh, I'm sorry. Do you, know, you know the convention center is like two blocks? Yeah, I know. From Love Field. Yeah. Yeah. But the but, difference in price comparison between the two. Yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah, but I, I would pay yeah. hundreds of dollars just to not go to DFW. It, it is I'm for. Saying. It is for my flight because I'm flying American, and they don't go to Love. Yeah, I think Alaska does. Southwest does. All depends on which airline you're flying. Yeah, there's only so whichever one's the whichever one's the hub, whichever one's the hub for them there. Um, I mean, I I fly out of a major hub anyway, so I can I can go to any airfield that I want. And Don said I can <laughs> hold you down. As as much mixing as she does, I don't doubt that she could probably hold me down. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll definitely have the camera ready. <laughs> it's, it's I gonna be I'm gonna be at the airport because <laughs> the TSA is probably gonna have all the probing done already. Okay. <laughs> well, once you get past that that security line, they don't care what you do in the other lobby. Oh, okay. So she can pin you down right there. I'll be waiting for you. The, 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 stewardess, the stewardesses might be like, hey, what did he do? Foot pictures. Like, got it. Got it. Do you need do you need help? Do you need help getting up to your elbow, ma'am? <laughs> Some somebody make sure they take their mic because all you're gonna hear is just fucking <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna videotape and make sure your splatter shield is on because remember we're having, we're having uh, pickled eggs and beans and everything beforehand <laughs> to get prepared for row. Yeah, to get prepared uh, for row. Poor row, row. Poor row, row. Poor row, row. You know she's got this. She's got this bounty on her hand, and she's flying into like Tex-Mex Central. We want to find some good pho while we're there. Yeti, you had pho before? Find some what? Pho. It's spelled P H O. It's spelled, it said pho. I'm saying fuck you. <laughs> it's basically 
it's what basically, I think to say. It's basically an awesome broth, nice homemade noodles, whatever meat you want to put in it, whatever vegetables in it. it it's like a more brothy ramen. So it's like a, what a Mexican goulash. <laughs> <laughs> one. It's the the best part about that one. It's not even fucking Mexican. It's fucking Asian. <laughs> it's Thai. That's what I meant. <laughs> so it's What's like a Thai difference? goulash. <laughs> Mexican Thai. Thai. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's just the That's spelling. Nice. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, that's two different styles of attacks. If you're in in a in a ring, if you're gonna fight somebody from Thai Thailand versus Mexico, you might want to be prepared a little bit different. I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not making plans to go anywhere, per se, do anything. I'm just going to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to work. So. Oh uh, yeah. We've got shackles ready for kids of stew. Strap them to the table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don says, it doesn't matter. Thai or Mexican, they both give you the shits. That's, that's my point. <laughs> You're telling me that this is going to be a meal that we're going to have a poop timer on. <laughs> After you eat it, you have to start the timer and find out how much time it has elapsed before you have to go to shit. Because, like, Taco mm. Bell is a five minute poop timer. <laughs> we're going all the way to Dallas. We're not eating any Taco Bell. I'm just telling you, Taco Bell, five minutes later, you are going to shit. <laughs> uh, finger bang. Although, I do it. think we should research the best cuisine in Dallas. Like, we got the best cuisine in Detroit where we had the Coney Dogs. Those Coney Dogs were fucking amazing. Hey, I'm good on the cuisine because I'm going to be with the best company there. Steak, it's going to be a steakhouse. It's oh, going to be, that's, that's going to be the number one restaurant in Dallas. It's going to be a steakhouse. You know what you do? You Can take we... your happy ass and you go to the stockyard. That's the best place to get a meal. You can get some fresh beef over there, guaranteed. Well, yeah, they're still wiping off the hoof. <laughs> hey, you they have the all you gotta tell them is mixer. wipe its ass, run it across the grill, and I'm good. Just run it through a warm room. That's it. Just give it a little bit of color. Maybe they'll have the old ninety sixer, the eight pound steak and baked potatoes. Well. That's that's in Amarillo. That's on. That's not in the. That's in the Panhandle. Yeah, oh, the big Texan right in Dallas, just like that. Well, yeah, but the big Texan is what's known for that. You have to order that. You have to order that like three days in advance. Be like, hey, I'm coming in. No, <laughs> at at the big Texan, you can just walk in and order it. They keep those four pound <laughs> steaks. They keep them in stock. <laughs> oh, it's only four pounds. It's only four pounds. Yeah. Well, four like, pounds plus the sides. Hey, man. Well, <laughs> I can't do it. I'm a big filler and I can't do it. Yeah. Of course, I eat like a fucking bird, but. You get all four pounds of steak and sides in you, then you start the poop timer. Are we done? Are we done? Are we done brushing? Oh shit! Is it really that time already? Holy Christ! That went by quick. Because we're having fun. Uh, time flies when you're talking about shit. We're having fun talking shit. Oh, okay. let me out there with the fucking calculator. It took him a while to come up with six pounds there, and that's okay. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> it's a sixty-pound steak. Mm. Don says, and after that steak, we know who will not be shitting all weekend. I'm going to have a little hand kill problem there. Uh, the beef filled colon. <laughs> you need to find one of the up, mint colonics. Freaking food coma. 
<laughs> Meat sweats. Yeah. Okay, so supposedly the best restaurant is Fearings. Yeah. Wagyu beef filet. Why would you go to fucking Texas and get Wagyu beef? Well, Wagyu is the American version of of the uh, of Kobe. Yeah. Yep. Except for I don't think they get beer and have massages every day. <laughs> they, get, they get insults and rocks thrown at them. <laughs> I think it's the same they just get Bud Light versus Sapporo. <laughs> Wagyu beef filet and chicken, fried main lobster served with loaded whipped potatoes, and a spinach taco. Who the fuck wants a spinach taco? I'm not sure what a spinach taco is. I'll just have the crackers, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeti wants dry white toast. <laughs> yeah. No crust, please. <laughs> yeah, and I'll go drink, dress like the Blues Brothers. He'll have five pieces of dry white toast, and I'll have four fried chickens. <laughs> four Bro, pieces of goat. Four fried chickens. Well, Main man, that sounds like a hell of a place. Rodeo ro- goat. What is it? Rodeo goat. Rodeo. The restaurant in Dallas is supposed to be fantastic. Do they have a fucking <laughs> boat? Sounds like Yeti's kind of place. There you go, Jason's Astro. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lobster in Texas. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that thing would be stinking. <laughs> like, can't you just go out? Can't you just go like down the road to Houston and get get some crayfish or something? Yeah. <laughs> well. Ladies and gents, I think we're going to start to wind her down here. Let everybody say their piece. Uh, so I'll take her around the room here and whoever Please. wants to go first. One, two, three, not it. Uh, I'll go. But I need a clarifying question before I, I do my outro. Weston, what is the coupon code associated to me? Is it still Lipa or did you change it to Pink Pussy? At this very moment, it's still Lipa. All right, you need to you need to change that so you can join the pink list. We're starting the pink list, then I'm gonna spread it around, just like other lists are going around. But the pink list is anybody that has pink pussy as a coupon code, and that will get you 10% off their site. So a Dory liquid vaping swag, both lowercase all together. Remember, type pink pussy, 10% off. Omegan knee liquid. Get that duck pond or the Omegan knee liquid. Large capital lenders, big pink pussy, all together, 10% off. And soon, soon, watch West End's Instagram for coupon code pink pussy, and he'll be added to the pink list. Just because you say it has to be there, <laughs> it is there. <laughs> and And everybody... Morning. Everybody out in chat and anybody that 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 buys stuff with the pink list, remember it all started with a big bottle of fireball and Ray falling out of his chair. That's right. Best Saturday show ever. Yeah. That was an, that was an awful damn good Saturday show. <laughs> I gotta set one of those up again. It's been a while. But that's why they're random. Yeah, but that, that one can't be touched. There's no oh. way. No, because I don't think any of us. Life will, life will, I, will never touch another gallon, think, gallon bottle of fireball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's send it on over to Yunko because he's staring into the camera all hard. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, tomorrow night, no fucks vaping. Um, our plans fell through, but we are going to have a special coil builder on <clears throat> tomorrow night. Uh, Kenny B will be our guest over on No Fucks Vaping. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, tomorrow night at 10 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock West, uh, 11 o'clock East. <laughs> um, so if y'all want to come check out, see what Kenny B's got to say, I'm sure we'll be flashing some of his badass builds. Uh, come join us tomorrow. And go to westendeliquids.com and get some West End liquids. This shit is 
awesome. Uh, the two, the two, I've only got two that I've tried so far, and I love both of them. That's all I got. All right. Well, in that case, um, since you're pimping them out, let's uh, send it on over to West End. What's up, everybody? TJ, thanks for having me on the show. Thank you for coming. Um, a Dory e liquid. Go over to Dory e liquid. Use coupon code Pink Pussy. Pink Pussy. <laughs> because, you know, Dawn, she's just an awesome person. And she helps out everybody in the baby community. She is, she is the honorary. First person to use that code. I am just, not going to pimp out my own stuff, so I just got to toss it to somebody else at this point in time. Well, fresh. That puts oh, it and there's only one battle. left. Yeah. Um, I wish I knew any liquid company to pimp out. Sure. I'm again. <laughs> a door? I saw a door. Someone threw a door at me. Vaping swag. Someone threw a door at you. I heard vaping swag makes T-shirts too, like really cool ones. Hey, uh, I have some T-shirts over there. Vape girl vixens. Vape girl vixens. Vape girl vixens dot com. That is a uh, Hesh's. Is it his sister? Cousin. His cousin. Hesh's cousin yeah. makes has her own liquid line. Kissing cousins. I mean, sorry. Whoa. Mod fogs. Mod fogs. I didn't think they were yep. from Arkansas. Modfogs.com. Uh, emergency vape stash. You can go get some of that stuff. That's pretty darn good stuff. It's over. Uh, you can get it on myvapebar.com or you can get it at southsidevaporiumal.com. Uh, if you use coupon code FRESHO3 on Southside Vaporium, you get 20% off. 20? 20% off. And while you're there, you can pick up the heavyweighty liquid line, and uh, 25% of the proceeds go to the Right to Be Smoke Free Legal Fund. So get it while it lasts. Get it while it lasts, everybody, because uh, I believe that's, I believe it's, I believe they're not going to make any more once it's gone. So get it while you can. Get it while you can. Uh, you could try that West End guy stuff over on WestEndLiquids.com. It's, it's, I mean, it's it's completely half-assed e-liquid, but. I mean, the dude's all right. <laughs> Although, seriously, go get to go get yourself some of that some of that hardtail. That's and the soft bags and the shark nose and the chain oil and the spark plug. spark plug. Uh, get them all. Just go, just go get yourself some West End liquids. Uh, he, seriously, though, he's an all right guy. Well, thank you. <laughs> He can hear us. Uh, coming soon, coming soon to the internets near you, yetihuire.com. Uh, spelled appropriately with an H. <laughs> as it should have been all along, yetihuire.com. Uh, you can go check out uh, Mr. Miles, Miles of Wire, uh, over on eBay for the moment. Uh, Kenny B, over on eBay, Kenny B Vapes. Uh, Scott D. Cesare, he, he has coils available over on the Facebook groups. Uh, I saw him. I saw him up and building again. Yes, I seen him up and building. Yeah, yeah. He was without power for like eight days. Yeah. Damn. So he, yeah, he's back to he's back to building. So um, Nick Devine, Nick Devine selling coils to support the YouTube channel. So if you want to go over to uh, n dot n dot divine eighty three over on Instagram, uh, pretty good cat that Nick Devine guy. Uh, he's all right. He's another all right guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I will say uh, so. Big boy, big boy, comp wire. Yep. Big boy. I still need to get some of that. Big boy, comp wire. This since Kenny just said it out there about mixing it up on what and stuff. Um, if you get three bottles of concentrate and use a ten percent discount code, it still gives you free shipping. There you go. There, you, there you go. See, he's got you. He's got you covered. Every direction you can go. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? But yeah, Big Boy Comp Wire LLC over on Instagram. Uh, Omageddon. Omageddonliquid.com. How can I forget our boy Giancarlo and Ducky? Amazing folks. Amazing folks, Giancarlo and Ducky are. And they do have the coolest t shirts over on Bacon's Way. I I'm wish just... my book. I wish my boyfriend vaped Omageddon. 
I'm just wondering if I can talk Becky into sending some Snickerdoodles cookies to Dallas. Mm. Those how, would he, how would he get them through? Oh, he'd have to he'd have to check them because you can't take food through the. No, he can check them in the bag. Yeah, yeah, he'd have to check the bag. You can't you take you can't take food through security anymore. What? Yeah, when did that's when did that start? If it's sealed, you're okay. If it's not sealed, you can't. That's how I got my. That's how I got my. That's how I got my cheese curds home. <laughs> they were sealed. Uh, let's see here. I think that's everybody. Just as long I as think he wrap him in his underwear, he'd be all right. Vapor lick. Go try vapor lick. Especially the, the vapor lick's such a good line, especially for those trying to trying to make that switch. I think it's. Great price. They're not gonna. They're not gonna get burnt on the price, and they're gonna get some good liquid. So go try vapor lick, everybody. Uh, yeah, I've really been enjoying that the emergency vape stash stuff along with that simply fruit. So been enjoying those. Stay tuned. Reviews coming soon on my channel. Everybody, be beautiful to each other. Educate, advocate, be good for this community. Uh, over to TJ. Can I get one last look? Sure, plug yourself. Down to West End. I forgot about him. SPRservices.com. You can check it out. This is where I got my customized mod from. It's a DNA 250. So, SPRservices.com. There you go. SPRservicesllc.com. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. cool. You can't get it right. It's all right. Come on, can't get it right. Let's go. Okay, okay. All right. Now that you On this note. We'll turn this back around for a little bit. Um, I'm just going to hold up everybody's shit at the same time. So this way I don't forget and I can see everything. West End. Oh my god. Vaping swag. Vapor lick. And I got to switch hands because I got too much shit. A door. Make sure you're checking them all out. Every one of them. Um. Pretty much everywhere, pink pussy all around. You guys know the drill. Uh, if you're feeling giddy, I know you can use golf tea or golf tea vapes on some of those sites. Um, however, it's easier just to remember one. Just go with pink pussy. It's a lot easier that way. Um, and for those of you who are still in denial and want to give it a go, I advise going and getting some phantom ravioli. You will giggle, you will cry, but you will enjoy yourself. And you're going to cry because you're laughing so hard because you didn't think it was possible. That's true. Ooh. I did I did a first I did a first impression video of it. And the first thing that happened when I opened that bottle is I started giggling like a little girl. I was like, hey. Giddy, do you happen to have an extra cane that you're bringing to Dallas? Possibly. I might need it. <laughs> <laughs> After Don gets a hold of you, she's already told me it's elbow deep. <laughs> I'm not sure you're going to need a cane when she's wearing you around like a puppet, <laughs> like like a mitt. <laughs> hey, gonna... Fresh, chuck me another steel growler, will you? <laughs> Here, you shake that with my hand. Uh, yeah, um, as I'm always touting, don't forget to educate, advocate, not for yourself, not for any of these random fuckers up here, not for your person to your left or to your right, whichever way I'm pointing, it doesn't matter, but for those people that come behind us, because they haven't made that switch yet, so make sure you're doing it in the right fashion, when you can donate, donate. If you have a problem with donating because you're tight on funds, head over to adoryliquid.com, pick up some of the added yogurt concentrate, or you can get one of my go-to everyday all-day vapes, the Banana Bondage. That's also going to have some money going towards advocacy. That's a good way to donate, and you're going to diddle your taste buds while you're at it. Or if you're lacking in some clothing, you can go over to vapingswag.com, Pick up yourself a t-shirt out of the Freaky Fresh Friends section. Everybody on this panel is on there. 
everybody, all of those going to advocacy as well. There's no profits being taken there. It's anything that comes off the top after everything's paid for going to advocacy. So do yourself a favor. There's a couple different ways to go about it. If you can't afford to just donate outright, do it that way. Um, also, make sure you're following Gasaw and follow this call to action. Make sure you're seeing also what's going on in your local state, city, county levels because it all starts in those small little areas. It's like a little tight butthole. You need to be in those little small areas first. And then we can work our way into something bigger. Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything else to say other than I want to thank everyone for coming out, everyone for showing up. Hope you guys enjoyed my first live review. Um, there'll be more to come as things start flowing in. But like I said, I don't do reviews, so you will get them live on the show here. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. A little first looks at how I feel about things. And we'll go from there. And if you guys like it, we'll keep doing it. If not, I'll keep doing it anyways because I don't give a goddamn what anybody thinks. Uh, yeah. Love you guys. Thank you all for coming out. Everybody in the comments, hanging out this long. We do appreciate it. And everybody up top. Um, I'm hoping somebody has a song in queue for us. Does somebody have a song in queue for us to take us out tonight? While I'm looking, I can talk about one last thing. Uh, so Berkeley. Berkeley, California. Fuck you. For even trying a flavor ban. Hmm. So, uh, the game has begun again in California, everybody. Uh, this time this time it's Berkeley. Yes, Berkeley has decided that they are going to attempt the flavor ban. Fuck so, it's California. time for us so it's time for us to put the flavor ban uh, up their butts. Up their butts, Berkeley. Here, Berkeley. Sit and spin, sit and spin. Bye.